everybody, this is Maniac 4 Bricks, and I'm here with an update again about my eBay store, Maniac 4 Toys. In case you didn't catch the last update video, I am still working on listing items that are in one of two conditions. Gently used, thoroughly inspected, and heavily cleaned. Make sure nothing else is on them and tampered with. Or, factory sealed. Brand new. So that nothing else has gotten into them, nothing has come out of them, and making sure that it's as new as possible. Uh, I've also been making sure that the packaging that I use for these, whether it's envelopes or boxes, depending on how large the item is or the transferring method, um, is as clean as possible. It's new stuff, it hasn't been used for a prior package sent to me, or something um, gathered for a while and, and just now being used it's brand new stuff to make sure that it's as clean as possible i've actually seen this from neighbors in my neighborhood where they receive a package even from some place like amazon that's being very thorough about their deliveries um even from places like that um they actually take gloves they you know open the package with them or they bring it in like that or they use a light sole outside on their porch spraying over the entire thing disinfecting it so I'm making sure that inside of the package is just as clean as it could be on the outside of the package. Moving on from there, um, to update from last time, which I know was a little bit off schedule, but now we should be back on schedule just fine. Updating from last time, I still have the collectible minifigures available in the store in the same condition. They have not been touched since those listings went up and um, have been relisted several times, so they are getting cheaper in each one. I think now it's still even a pretty good price for them, even if you have uh, gently used ones like the Flash that are up there. So um, you can check those out yet again if you wanted to pick those up. I will be adding another console minifigure in there really soon as of this video. There's also uh, two items that have sold in the past week. And unless there's any discrepancies with the buyers from any of the listings that I've had already, they're out. They're no longer available in the store. So uh, if they do come back to me with something that might have gone wrong or a payment that may have got, not gone through properly, whatever the case might be, that it returns to me, I can still list it again in the store and I will update that in a future video. But as of right now, the Han Solo Hoth Polybag and the Lego Legends of Chima Racing Playmat, both factory sealed, are now sold. Now getting on to this week's updates, there's not too many that are being listed, but there are still a couple brand new things. New things that haven't been shown on the eBay store before. Starting things off, we have another collectible minifigure, as I mentioned earlier. This is from Series 18, which is the Celebration minifigure series. 40th anniversary came out in 2018. This one is not the cop. I haven't thoroughly inspected the package just by feeling on top of it, but I could still clean this over if needed. And it is still factory sealed, so it doesn't have any parts taken out or, you know, anything like that. But I have verified that this one is the cat costume lady. And I can tell by that because I have found the tail piece and I have found the head piece to make sure those are the most unique parts of them. They're not shared with any other figures and it is still in sealed condition. So if you did want to pick this one up, you can still, you can do that now on eBay and Maniac for Toys. The next item I actually found while cleaning, I didn't realize this was in my backlog for a long time, and it's one I've been kind of wishy-washy about. Lego Mixels is a series that I kind of like some of the sets and some of the series more than others. But I didn't like it entirely as a whole. I think there were still good things about it. And it was still good for parts if you didn't want them as the monster creature figures. But I didn't like every single set in order to get them for parts. So this set is Lego Mixels 41564 Aquad. Ages 6 and up and from the MCFD series. This one is factory sealed. I got this one almost two years ago and haven't used it. Like I said, it was deep in the backlog and I had no reason to open it up, even just for parts. I have most of these parts somewhere in my collection and I don't need them for any projects right now. So this one is still available if you want to pick up the Mixel itself. 
I do not know if it has a Nixle character with it or if it has a specific tile. That you're going to have to find from other YouTube videos if they've already opened them and reviewed them by this point, which has been a couple of years, so I'm assuming that they have. And then the last item that we have here is a gently used item. Every once in a while when I go to Goodwill, I'll try to look through the Lego books and Lego media and see if there's something I didn't already have in my collection. There's a lot of Lego books over here and there's a whole bunch of Lego movies I have elsewhere. So it's hard for me to always keep track of them and sometimes I'll forget if I already picked up something. So this one is a Lego Ninjago character encyclopedia. This one does not include the figure. It was how I found it at Goodwill without the figure included but it still has good condition on all of the pages. So if you did still want to pick this one up for the value of the book itself, and um, you know, if you like that edition of it, because I think there might've been another edition, this was the first edition that they had for it, then you can pick this one up through my eBay store. So far, pages and everything seem fine. They didn't have any writings in them. I didn't see any major rips or tears throughout the pages. And like I said, the only thing I know that's missing is the minifigure which is included in the book traditionally. And there is still a little bit of adhesive on here from what the price sticker was from Goodwill. I don't remember what it was, honestly, but that can easily be scrubbed off if you didn't want that on there. And it shouldn't affect anything as far as opening the book or, you know, pages or anything like that. I think it should be fine. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check out my eBay store, Maniac for Toys, for those listings and anything that may come up in the near future. I'm still working through the Lego room, and there may be other items around. I know I mentioned a couple weeks ago that I was possibly going to list some Bionicle sets I had duplicates of. I haven't worked through those just yet, but I am slowly getting into that as I'm cleaning a little bit more around here. So there may be other listings coming up. And the Bionicle sets, I found most of them being in a used condition, not even gently used. So I've been hesitant on those in general just because I don't know about the person I got them from, how much it was used, or what else might have been affected with it. So I'd rather just clean all that and make sure it's as good as possible before even mentioning it again on this, e this week on eBay. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time with more LEGO videos.